Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Aston. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not new here, um, if you want to see this look, keep watching. Um, just want to touch on the fact, I don't know about anybody else, but I see Instagram models and their skin is so smooth, poreless, just perfection. And I've been feeling like crap looking at it. Um, wondering why my skin isn't like that. Uh, you've got to remember, some of these people photoshop the hell out of their pictures, put filters on their videos, um, yeah, it's really not comparable and I'm trying to get that in my head, that's why I've not been on camera for the past week or two, I've just been feeling so rubbish about how I look, how my skin looks and yeah, so... Just remember, you are not comparable to those girls and they are not comparable to you. Editing has a lot to answer for when you feel so crap about yourself. You are perfect the way you are. So, yeah. Just keep that in mind. You're a queen. Wear your crown. Whether it's a wee bit crooked or not. We all have a wee bit of a crooked crown. Uh, yeah, so. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. So I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise base. <coughs> Always need an energy drink. Um, I'm using the Painters Palette by Beth Painterly and Sample Beauty. Um, went in with shade Spud, which is a light brown up here. And what I'm going to do before that is I'm going to take a piece of tape, which will give you this blend. I know, I'm not professional, but oh well. And just place that there. And then go in with that light brown shade and drag it all the way out. Now, you need to ignore my eyebrows. I haven't shaved them, I haven't plucked them. I'm just, I'm kind of undecided about letting them grow back. So... We'll see how that turns out. But I do like my high arched eyebrows that I kind of get or achieve when I don't have them shaved. So just blend that out with a big fluffy blending brush. And most of my brushes I use are from Spectrum. This is the B10. And I got these in the Millennial, like, pack. It was, I meant to be like £60. And I got them for, what I say, 20 odd. Because they were imperfect. But they're perfect. I've not got a single issue with one of my brushes. Uh, Grin with shade Insta. And just blending that below the light brown. And I've taken a smaller brush, and this is the B11. So just taking it up almost to where I put the light brown. But I'm going to again and reinforce that colour later. You do lose a bit of it when you're blending this dark shade. So, like that. And this will give you a really, really sharp edge. Which is perfect for the look I'm going for. Um, come back in with that bigger fluffy blending brush. I'm going to remove that shade spud again and just bring it a wee bit higher up to my brow bone. And then I'm going to go in with the black shade Smokey. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Or the name. <laughs> like that. And again, just 
bringing it out to where that tape is. I'm really going to work on that blending because with black you really need to blend it. Especially in with another colour, which is why I'm going in between the light brown and the medium brown. I'm just cleaning my brush off on a dish towel. <laughs> That's the kind of lassie I am. I do. I keep a wee dish towel at my side just to clean my brushes. But I've got a colour switcher thing where you just swipe it along and it takes the colour off for you. So, is everybody getting ready for June? Especially my English friends. I don't know when Scotland's going to come out of lockdown. But, hopefully not long after yourselves. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. And then I'm going to take the P. Louise base in shade 0, which is white. And cut my crease. I do use two palettes for this. Like, that is the only thing. Um... So it simply didn't have black sparkles. Uh, again with the Jeffree Star Cremated palette. Shock horror. But it's just got such pretty colours. So I'm just going to cut my crease. I think cutting crease is so boring. So yeah, this is a really, really easy way to get that sharp line, is by using tape. It's perfect for beginners. You really can't go too wrong with it, so that's why I like it. And the edge doesn't need to be too perfected because we're going to smoke it out with the plaque again. might actually do an inner corner highlight today. I never do one, I don't know why. I think I just forget it in my makeup routine. <laughs> so, if we take the Jeffree Star palette, the cremated palette, and go in with shade Angel of Death. I don't really like that one. I don't like the name of it. It was a very controversial, 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 I can't even say that word, uh, when it came out. So just applying that with the Spectrum A12 brush, which is a pencil brush. Bring that all the way up to where we cut our creases. Creases. We only got one crease on each eye. You noticed I was dabbing it on at first just to pack it on. And now I'm just sweeping it over now that I've got that colour or rather shimmer on. This is such a look. It really is. And then I'm going in with Diamond Ashes. This colour bugs the life out of me. I don't know. It's just so chunky. But on the eyes it is honestly stunning. But she is chunky. Chunky. Then go back in with my small blending brush and take shades hair while we're here instead of going back into the painter with all it. And continuously switching palettes. A black's a black as long as it's a good black. I've always got a big crease in this eye, which I struggle to put eyeshadow on. So I've really got to bring my face up to get into it.
and then you just peel the tape off and you end up with a sharp line like that. However, that is not the same as the other one. So I'm going to bring it down a bit lower, line it up with the winged out bit and just bring that lower. Hope you can see what I've done there, like when it's not evened up you just move the tape. There, so that's pretty even. So next up is my base. I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Beam Dream Glow uh, Primer. That's a handful. And apply that all over the face. Hopefully you can see what a glow this gives you. So, really pretty. I'm actually not using Maybelline Superstay. <gasps> Who is she? So, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is the completely wrong shade for me, but we can lighten that up with concealer. I hate these applicators. They drew my head in. I don't know, it just feels like you're drawing on your face. You are drawing on your face quite literally with foundation. But you'll you always get a wee bit out at a time and can't control it. Like you can't get enough. And then I'm using a clean beauty blender by Sheen Sheen. I don't know how you say it. I uh, thought I'd test it these sponges and so far it is super, super soft, super bouncy. Yeah, this is a really good sponge. I've actually wet it, did I say that already? <laughs> so, and this foundation is honestly just so good, like, if you're willing to spend a little bit more on foundation, I would recommend this one because it is so full coverage but it leaves the most beautiful finish. It really does and I hope you can see that. So I always struggle with my wee nose bum cracks. They always like so rotten no matter what I do. And then to conceal it I'm using the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Um, shade Fair Rose. And I'm also going to use this just to adjust the colour of my foundation. So you will see me apply a lot more than what I would normally do on the regular. And again, just blending that in with the Shein sponge. How do you all pronounce Shein or Sheen? What do you call it? So I know it's been a debatable topic of all things. <laughs> it needs to be the name of a brand. But it's like Primark. Well, I say Primark. Some people say Primark. You just never know what one's right. So can you correct me on which is right? So... This video is just a wee chatty ready with me. I've got nothing really new to talk about. Um, I've already said that we've booked Newcastle for my birthday, but we're also looking to go to somewhere abroad. And I think, I don't know if Belfast is abroad. I don't know if it's considered Northern Ireland or what. I don't know. I don't know my geography, but I know part of Ireland is 
classed as not part of the UK and in our part is classed as the UK. So I don't know which is which. <laughs> so just really blending that in around my chin or else you're going to see a really stark contrast. And then what am I going to use next? So I'm taking the Shein um, contour stick but this is more of a bronze shade as you can see. That's what I'm going to use it for is bronzer. I am actually trying to pick bronzer and contour shades that are my shade. Imagine because I've realised when I look back in the videos that I look quite muddy. And that is really not the look I want to go for. So I'm just blending that out with my sponge instead of a brush because I was also realising that app was making it look even muddier. So I was just kind of smearing it everywhere whereas this I can really bounce into where I want it and want it to stay. So I'd recommend a sponge rather than a brush with your cream contours and bronzers. We all learn through our mistakes, even when it comes to makeup. Actually, especially when it comes to makeup. I think that's how we all learn. That is a gorgeous shade. Isn't that such a pretty shade? It really is. I don't think I want to contour today. I just want to keep it nice and bronzy. Um, I'm just going to cut that. Because the foundation was just kind of blending into the contour there in case you didn't see it. Actually, I'm going to apply a wee bit more. I've took too much of that away. See, trial and error. Even I do not get it perfect. But then again, I never claimed to be good at makeup. I just do it. <laughs> So that's that lightened up and now I'm just reinforcing that bronze. This blends out so easy, the contour stick. It really does. I would definitely recommend buying them. Because they're so good. So next up I'm just going to highlight using the Sleek Palette. Sleek Solstice I think it is. Because I've not got my, 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 my ooh, Mitchell palette at hand. I don't know why I can never say that. I mean, this is a good highlighter. But, I mean, come on. Where is it? I remember when this first came out, it was all the rage. People just hadn't seen a highlighter like it because... Highlighter wasn't really a big, it wasn't such a big thing. And now we've got formulas that just shine and gleam in the sun like a car headlights. I mean, you can really build this one up, so that's always good. But it takes quite a bit of building. Oh, I drop something in every single video. It's not good. So, next, mm, I think I'll do lip cement in my under eye. I have new lip products. I have the Beauty Bay Lip Liner in shade Ruffle.
Uh, this is super, super creamy. This might not go with this look, but all in the name of trying new products. Uh, I swatched the lipstick and it's meant to be matte, but I would say it's more of a satin finish. So I'm just going to fill my lips in with the pencil. Sorry, I really can't talk when I'm doing my lips. I don't think anybody can, can they? Um, got the lipstick in shade Juice from Beauty Bay. It is such a beautiful colour. You see what I mean when I say it isn't matte. Sorry if you can hear my child counting over there. He's doing his homeschooling. Anyway, to go back to school. Ooh, that's so exciting. That's more exciting than going on holiday. Mm -hmm. So it's shade Smokey from the la, 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 Beth Painterly palette. Um, just blending that up to the edge. And smoking it out in a wee minute with another shade. I look like a lady of the night with this red lipstick black eye combo. And I don't have anything against your work preference. Enjoy. This is such a good black. It really is such a good black. And then I'm going to get in with a different smudging brush in the shade Spud and Insta. I'm just mixing the two and going below that. Need a wee, wee blooper right here, but you can just smoke it out further and bring it down further. I can't find the black eyeliner, so I'm going to get with my Stila smudge stick, and it's a brown. to deepen that eye up a bit. Plus my eyes are brown and black anyway, so. Um, I've got new lashes to use. Um, I've got the Shein ones. And, wait a minute. So I've got these from Shein and I've got these from So Sue. Um, what the hell? So I'm going to try the Shein ones on and see how I like them. So guys, I just applied those Shein lashes. Um, they're alright. They're a bit uh, thin. I would like thicker lashes for this look. But yeah, so this is the final look. My Lady of the Night look. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video and that it was slightly informative when it comes to eyes, especially with making a lovely blended 
a sharp line. Um, I've changed up my makeup routine a little when it comes to bronzer and contour, etc, etc. Uh, hopefully it's looking a bit better than what it normally looks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so lovely for you, lovely for you joining me. It would, hmm. It's lovely to have you joining me again. Thank you for watching and if you're new here, thank you for coming to my channel.